right, this arena round shows off a classic combo of dolphin and skunk. This combo is actually even better than when I made a video about it before, which was probably like a year ago. It's been such a long time. Because now on level up, dolphin triggers multiple times instead of just dealing more damage to the lowest health enemy. So that is slightly better. It's also a tier 3 now instead of a tier 4. It used to be a tier 4. Base stats were a 4-6 and it dealt 5 damage, if you did not know. But now... It is even a better combo because this means you get level 2 Dolphin with like a level 3 Skunk and you reduce the highest HP unit down to 1 HP and then the Dolphin will shoot twice. So just in case there's like a Pepper or a Melon, it will just pierce right through that and it will absolutely destroy 1 unit teams which is really cool to see. This is also a combo that works in just Turtle Pack or Standard Pack, Pack 1, whatever you want to call it. But I'm just using Customs just because it's a little bit easier to get level ups with Alpaca, Blobfish Pill, and Crow. Just much easier to get the level ups and have that perfect ideal team. Although maybe you could tell from the thumbnail it was just a little bit off, but I mean, it's hard to get all level threes. Still a really cool and satisfying team. I mean, just it's truly so destructive, so good. You don't need any scaling. If you just have base stats and you have the skunk, I mean, the skunk does need to go first, has to have higher attack, but level three skunk, like maybe another level 3 skunk and another level 3 skunk and then like two dolphins you could just destroy three 50 50 units just like that and hopefully they don't have anything else besides that if they have five 50 50s i mean not too much you can do but it will destroy most teams which is pretty cool so the actual start of the run got some early beta fishes uh i guess i'm the main thing is just go big skunk since i wanted to go first and then the dolphins kind of just like the afterthought but Anyway, I saw that Ludwig was actually playing some SAP recently, and he tried out hard mode on the test server, which was pretty interesting to see. They have updated hard mode, so it's actually a little bit easier, and now you have three options instead of two, and um, he did actually really well. He got to nine wins. He almost won his first try on hard mode, which if you ask me, might be a sign that hard mode is actually too easy, but... Um, I don't know what uh, general people's thoughts are or like more casual players. Maybe it's already really difficult. Like it certainly does make it more difficult, but there are some options that are honestly like not much of a penalty at all. Like there's the pill bottle, which just kills the front unit. So you just put your weakest unit in front and that's like really not much of a penalty there. And there's still quite a few balancing stuff that I feel like could be done. Like a lot of the things that just uh, summon things after the enemy team dies isn't really too difficult. And then there's like some that are absolutely absurd, like Boomerang and like the Coconut's weakness to your entire team. Like those ones are truly like just game losing if you get them. But now that you have three options, obviously you're going to be a lot less likely to get those. So I feel like hard mode could actually use some, I mean, I'm sure they'll try to balance it a bit more. But right now it's actually, it doesn't seem that difficult. But maybe I've just played this game way too much, which is a possibility for sure. And you'll have to let me know if you think hard mode is too difficult. It's still on, it's still available on the test server. It's been out for like three weeks, and they haven't actually released it. They haven't done anything to change it, so I'm still wondering if they are planning on even like bothering to try to balance it more. But um, hopefully they do. Uh, early alpaca, turn seven alpaca. Just absolutely beautiful. Get these level ups so early. That is like the dream situation. And I don't really want to buff the dolphin here just because I need its attack to be lower than the skunk. So that will be the plan. Um, it is going to be a little bit difficult to get level 2 alpaca at this point. But maybe I can just find a bunch of crows, get level 2, and then find some skunks, whatever. Even level 1 alpaca is still quite helpful. But um, some tournament news. So the final week of the team tournament before the playoffs. So I believe only four teams will make the playoffs. And there's two rounds. And my team, or our team, I'm co-captains with Tyler, uh, unfortunately not going to make the playoffs. We are, best are going to go 3-4. and four. We're 2-4 and four right now. So you need to have like a positive winning record to actually make it to the top four. But still a really fun event overall. And I think uh, I'll definitely join the next one. There'll probably be another one, I assume. And uh, yeah, if you're interested in any like competitive stuff whatsoever, I definitely recommend it. Just because it's a nice like long-form tournament. You don't have to, you can be like quite busy and you just have to play one match a week. You also get like the team aspect. You can get coaching from like some of the better players if you're interested in improving. Um, overall, great thing that exists. A nice like thing for the community that's kind of like kept it together, I guess, or kept the scene going. Because sometimes like, especially in this period where there hasn't been any updates in a while, like nothing really new has been changing. 
it's just a nice ongoing event that will like keep people interested in actually playing the game and that's that's great um this game is great i i still enjoy it even after all this time you know and the devs still updating it still adding more things there's still a lot of things missing like a spectator mode and all that but like one day they'll actually add everything we want and then it'll be the perfect game sure i'm sure it will and then it could be like the game of the year it would be crazy <laughs> But uh, the level 2 cow level up is really unfortunate because the alpaca gives it a tear up and the tear up replaces one of the milks. So that was kind of a mistake that I forgot about, but that's alright. Level 2 cow now and get that skunk to be pretty beefy. 19 attack, definitely going to go first. And then, um, yeah, I can sell the cow by the other skunk and then just need one more chocolate. So the one thing that this team is not going to be good against is summons for sure. Because, like, I mean... Obviously, killing just the strongest summons not going to do too much, and they're still going to have so many spawns. So hopefully, just not going to run into that team. Another alpaca. So I don't think that's really worth it. I can refresh the triggers if you do run out of triggers, but I don't really care too much about that. Level 2 turtle pill, why not? I mean, you're only spending 4 gold for 2 melons, so it turns out to be pretty gold efficient. If I really wanted to gamble, I could take a tapir pill here, and I was thinking about it. It's a 50-50 chance that I get a skunk or a uh, dolphin. I could actually sell the clownfish even. And then if it was an alpaca, that's not even that bad. Like, tapir pill, kind of interesting. Especially in custom packs where you can actually put a donut on it if you really want to then you can guarantee get the pet that you want for four gold. So, I mean, it's better than Crow, but you obviously have to find a pill and a tapir, which isn't super likely, but still. There's level three Crow, so the build is now complete. I have the Dolphin, I have the Skunk, and hopefully gonna run into some teams that are just like, just Worm or something, like a 50-50 Worm, and that's all they've ever done, and then their team will be absolutely destroyed. And it's also nice to have this Clownfish to buff all the Skunks, get the initial stats up a little bit, um, but yeah, gonna go for another level three. There we go. Down to one HP. Dolphin snipes it. Beautiful. Just so cool to see. And, um, it's pretty hard to stop. I mean, besides the summons, but, you know, there's always counters to everything, I guess. Got that whole triangle of, like, uh, this will beat scaling. Then you have, uh, summons, which, like, beats scaling. Snipers beat summons. Uh, snipers loses to scaling. That kind of stuff. But yeah, there's double level three skunk. Just gonna keep rolling one more skunk and then i will need to find uh just level up the last one through like chocolates and stuff actually could take the blobfish too well no that there's no point in doing that i mean i could freeze the blobfish but um yeah so the dolphin went before the second skunk so did not actually get the perfect snipe but that's all right uh i can just feed it some chicken legs hopefully get it to above 20 attack and that could work as well uh, tiger would also work. It, I could tiger skunk or I could tiger dolphin, either one. Um, sometimes level two skunk's actually just enough to get there anyway, if I actually get, if like, well, I don't know. How much health would they have to have where if they go down by 66%, three attack would still kill? Um, okay, tiger skunk, that works as well. Just so many skunks. Normally, in a lot of these runs, I was actually going for parrot skunk. Because then, like, I guess you have better odds of actually getting the level ups since you can find a pair or a skunk in the shop. But instead, in this one, I just got a ton of skunks with alpaca, so don't even need the parrots. Um, there is a pair. I could actually take a lollipop here if I really wanted to, and then I could get its stats a slightly higher. Um, I can also get level 2 tiger, sure, that works. And, yeah, so many skunks. Four skunks. I do think skunk is kind of an underrated unit in general, just because, like, it really allows you to win a lot of the time without having to go any scaling whatsoever. Because, like, I mean, not only this works, but you can also go with, like, uh, skunk plus, like, snake, or sn uh, skunk plus, like, snake and fly or something like that. And that also destroys a lot of teams. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's hard to win without scaling, but it's definitely possible. And skunk kind of opens up those opportunities a lot, so... Um, yeah, skunk, great units, generally a good ability that's most of the time useful, except for against summons. I will put it in a solid, like, A tier. Very good. And now the skunks will activate before the dolphin. So as you can see, oh my god, it's just so satisfying. And then the 1 HP German Shepherd is not going to be enough. Like, that was not quite enough attack. Killed the bigger German Shepherd that was, like, level 2, I think. And just such a cool team. It's so fun, honestly. And just, uh having a blast playing arena. Anyway, thanks for watching. See ya.